It's been a while we have been talking about AI video generation, but today we're gonna talk about AI image generation. And I know that most of you guys are sick of paying to the tools like the Mid Journey, but today I have an AI tool that offers multiple style references and you can even use Flux Chanel. So I'm very excited. Let's dive in. So I'm talking about Piclumen. Well, I have already covered a detailed video on the Piclumen's website, but now they have changed their website interface and also they introduced some of the new models. So we're going to test out all of these models. So if I scroll down, you can see these are some of the models and these are some of the styles that this AI tool offers. And these are some of the references images featured on their website. And this is not just limited to the AI image generation. We also have the built-in AI upscaler. They have a built-in background remover. They have the image references. You can use the image to image option. They also have the image colorization that is very useful for the line art. And we're going to cover all of these things in our detail. But first of all, to access this tool, you have to click on this generate for free. So here is the interface and the interface is very simple. We have the option to enter the prompt. Then if we go ahead to the settings option, you can see we have different models. So if I click on that, we have the pick human art version one, which is very useful for the cartoon characters, anime characters, and these kind of stylized images. Then we have the pick human realistic version that works very good with the realistic images. We have the pick human anime art, line art, pony diffusion, which is just like the uh, Disney kind of style. Then we have the Flux Chanel. So we're going to test Flux Chanel also. But first of all, let's go with the Piclumen Art version 1. And I'll be using this lengthy prompt front view newspaper wall retro anime. One girl with a brown curly long hair. Necklace earrings looking at the audience. So we have a lot of tiny details in this prompt. And then if I click on the advanced settings, you can see we have the guidance scale. You can control the guidance scale accordingly. Then we have the number of steps. But I think these settings are not compatible with this particular model. This will be available with the other models. And Next, we have the aspect ratio options. So you can see we have every single aspect ratio. Let's go with the 16 ratio 9. Then we have the option to control the number of images. Let's go with the four images and then hit this arrow to generate the images. All right, so here are the output images. So this is the first image. You can see there is a, some kind of stylization, but it looks good. It's eye catching. Then this is the second one. This is the third one. And this is the last output. This one is looking kind of a cartoonish and a realistic touch. So basically this particular model is only for the art images. And that is why we are getting these kind of outputs. And this is looking much, much better. Then I tried running the empty prompt just to test the limits, what this particular model is capable of. So it generated four different random images. So here you can see we have this sand mountain, whatever you want to call it. Then this is the human character. And look at that. If I zoom it in, look at that. Look at the details. Each and everything is super, super detailed. And we can even make it more detailed that I'm going to tell you later in the video. But this is the third one. So this is just to test that this model can handle human characters, landscapes, nature images, animals, each and everything very perfectly. All right. So let's test this prompt. Street punk girl with a smiling unfriendly at the camera. That is on her shoulder. So this is a detailed prompt just like our previous prompt. And again, we're going to use the Pick Human Art version 1 and hit generate. All right. So here are the outputs and look at that. This is very creative. This woman is looking like a cyberpunk. We have the two ponytails. She is doing unfriendly smile. The tattoos on her body. So it followed the prompt very accurately. So the prompt accuracy and the prompt coherence is on point. You can see all of these images are looking exactly similar following the same prompt. But the AI tried to add some different creativity in all of these images. Well, you can even upscale these images further. So we have the built-in upscaler. If you go to the right side, you can see we have the built-in upscaler. So if I click on the upscale button, you can see you can control the upscaling values like 1.5, 1.75, 2x and then we have the redraw strength. So, so what it does, upscale redraw may fix the hand or face problems, but the image may also be worse. The higher the intensity, the greater the effect of repainting and repair. Default value is 0.3. So if you keep the values higher, this, this may change some of the facial features. But if you keep the values lower, this will try to keep the image same. But in my observation, if you want the highly detailed results, you have to keep it around 0.5 and hit submit. All right. So here is the output after upscaling this image. And you can see how much detailed it is. If I zoom it in, you can see we have some more sharpness into it and more details in the image. Now, Let's try some male characters. So here I have a prompt. Close a portrait of a rock and roll boy holding an electric guitar, destructive city, background, night, cyberpunk style, anime style, ink design. So we have a lot of different styles and uh, keywords in this one. And let's see how the AI handles this one. All right. So these are the outputs. So this is the first image. This is going to be a second image. This one is also looks good. Third one. 
and this is the last one and you can see in all of them the fingers are good obviously uh, in most of the cases AI always mess up with the fingers but you can see in every single image the fingers are correct now you may be wanting that what about the realistic cell so everything is not about the realism most of the people are trying to generate the anime movies anime cartoons so they need anime styles like in this one you can see we have this cat and you can see the details and the fur each and everything is in a detail and uh, this is not just about the realism this is about the creativity so you should also explore the more ideas more creative ideas more creative styles rather than just a realistic style well we will also jump into that case with the flex chanel outputs but right now we only gonna stick with this style well this particular model can also handle the realistic styles very accurately you can see i just give it a random output a man driving a car while watching through the window and you can see these outputs are not bad look at that this is i'm not saying this is the hyper realistic but at least look at the details this is amazing and this one is also looking good so you can also use this model to generate the realistic styles but i would prefer you to use the anime style and the cartoon styles that works best with this model now for those who are fascinated about the flux chanel outputs let's switch to the flux chanel and in the prompt section let's give it any prompt like a woman wearing a joker mask on streets and again 16-9 number of images will be 4 and hit generate alright so these are the outputs from the flux chanel so this is the first image amazing this is the second image it looks more like a makeup rather than the mask but this is a good output looking good to the eyes and this is the last one so flux chanel is also available if you want to use this now if we talk about the other tools that we have here if I click on the more option, you can see we have the in painting option. You can change any area if, in your image if you want to. Then we have the colorize option that can only work with the line art that we're going to create later in the video. Then we have the expand option. So if I click on the expand button, you can see we have this canvas here. So you can drag and drop your images accordingly and uh, adjust the area that you want to expand. And even in the prompt section, you can define. But if you hit submit without defining anything, this will automatically generate the frames around it now here is the expanded output you can see we have the more area around our image so this was the initial image and this is the output image now if we talk about the line art here i have the model called pick human line art version 1 i have generated this output and if i want to colorize this one i have the option to colorize if i click on the colorize you can see it this will ask you for a prompt but if you hit submit without even entering the prompt this will automatically colorize this one so hit submit and here you can see we have the output but in a colorized version now you may be wondering where we can use this you can use this in the storybooks you can use this on a fiber you can provide this service on a fiber so this was a quick go through from this platform you can use the flux channel you can use the pick human art versions it all depends on you and if we talk about its pricing options you can see they have a free plan where you can use the essential tool initially this was totally free but now they have introduced their paid plans with some minor charges like four dollars a month which is not enough but if you want to use this for free you still have that option you can generate the unlimited generations in a relaxed mode with pick human series models and you have the 30 days of creation workflow history but if you want some more advanced things and you don't want to waste your time in a queue you can obviously upgrade to their premium plan so you still have a free option but with some limitations so that's it from today i hope you enjoyed this video and if you guys did do give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one